Today, we see what the shortest possible home run is that you can hit in MLB The Show 21. We're going to use the brand new stadium creator to MLB The Show 21 and try hitting at some of the smallest ballparks in the game. And no, we're not counting inside the park home runs or trying to do some crazy thing like a bunt home run. No, it's literally the shortest possible home run that you can hit over the fence. And guys, let me tell you something. I'm so happy. And why am I so happy? It's my birthday. I'm a freaking old dude. I turned 26, but we're still here grinding, making the videos, trying to make them daily. But if I could ask for one thing from you guys for my birthday, it would simply be to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 likes by tonight. Let's see if for my birthday, you guys can give that to me for a present. Would be much a freaking appreciated, but yeah, dudes, I'm freaking 26. I'm so old, dude. But first thing we're testing out is the stadium creator. All these experiment videos are things that we witnessed together. Like, I have no idea what the answer is to the question in the title of today's video, but it's all about the freaking experience and, you know, seeing what happens along the way. Like, I have no idea if you can make, like, a 100-foot left field fence, but, like, if you can, I want to see if I I can hit a 100 foot home run like let's just take one of the random fields already generated let's go with cornfield like i think that fits the theme of the channel our outfield wall this is where we want to start to get funky like to be fair though the stadium creator is so sick like san diego studios did such a freaking fantastic job with this but let's see how funky we can actually get there's actually another freaking baseball field back there this has to be like an easter egg modeled after field of dream like the goat of all freaking sports movies like that that had to be the inspiration. Now the problem is, I don't know what the heck I'm doing here or how to edit anything, but we're trying. Alright, we can change the freaking foul pole. So let's give us a massive freaking foul pull out there. Alright, I put this thing onto advanced mode so I can hopefully find out now how to make the field shorter. So we can do wall height. Like we can make the wall freaking massive. But that's, that's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying to bring that 330 into the freaking infield. There's like all these wall presets as well, but I want to figure out how to like bring it in, dude. Like, what do you mean? Oh, there we freaking go. I got it. So if we go over here, I literally just got to click it and like kind of move in a little bit. So I press it down and I literally just bring it in. Boys, we can make the wall. What the frick? We can make it 270? Seriously? We can make this freaking thing 270. And that's just, I, I'm assuming this is, is, is like close in as it gets. So 270 right there to left field. And if we back out, I'm trying to see, is there any way we can like make it smaller? Like 270. That is insane. I want to make this as small as freaking possible. So we can back out for that. How far can we grab center field and bring it in? Center field can be 350, I think. Or 351-ish, and if we bring this wall in as well, oh my, we're going to create the smallest ballpark in the history of freaking Major League Baseball. Now, the wall does kind of look funky. Like, this is, this is not the, it's kind of a little complicated, not going to lie, but we're going to get there. Left center field is literally 324. For some weird reason, I can only bring the right field fence in. I'm guessing my dimensions are a little screwed up here. Maybe if we, like, move this in a little bit. Maybe now we can move this in to be a little bit more short. Because it's only like 350. The other side's freaking two gosh dang 70. Weirdest freaking ballpark in MLB history. So now we got it to 345. But like, as long as we got the 270 to the other side, it's all I really freaking care about. I wonder if there's any like pre built stadiums that people have already made. There's gotta be like somebody already made the shortest ballpark possible. Like, I'm sure I could get this looking great, but like, we got a freaking 270 foot left field wall like this is going to be the shortest home run in mlb history 270 foot i want to also make the freaking wall height as small as freaking possible so like somebody can literally hit a little line drive over here and as long as it hits off the foul pole that's a freaking home run bro this stadium creator is the greatest thing of all time we're gonna make the other oh we can bring this one in even more what the frick all right that's a funky looking field. Now, yeah, this is definitely the greatest ballpark ever freaking assembled. Beautiful. It's like Picasso built it. Hey, boys. I think we finally got it freaking saved. That's a freaking beautiful looking ballpark right here. What I want to do first before we do try to hit a home run 270 foot on the created stadium. 
We're gonna go to the Boston Red Sox Stadium, home run derby with David Ortiz, and see if we can hit a home run off the Pesky's pole, which should be around 302 feet, which is the shortest possible home run distance in any current MLB stadium. Be fair though, is David Ortiz really gonna hit the Pesky's pole, or is he gonna hit it about 700 foot? Dude, the course of action here is gonna be so freaking complicated. We're just aiming for the Pesky's pole every freaking pitch. Like, you see what I mean? That could hit the Pesky's pull first swing. Oh my, I was actually so close. I don't know if I like need to try and hit a uh, line drive or what. Because that right there, that's gonna go 700 feet. Like, bare freaking minimal. The hardest thing here, dudes, is to get the timing down. Like, I gotta be early, but I can't be too early. Like that, he fell down, poor David. Oh man, like that's the one we need there. A little pop up, but it needs to be like, this could potentially be it. This seriously could be it. Oh, what? I thought that hit off the Pesky's pole. What do you mean? I wonder if it hits off the Pesky's pole, even if it's up high, if that still counts as 302 foot. It's got to, right? And obviously project to be different, like distances. But if it hits the Pesky's pole, I think even if it's like at the very top of the Pesky's pole, that should still be 302 foot, right? Like I just want to hit the Pesky's pole one freaking time, dude. This one maybe? This one maybe? Oh no, I don't think it hit the foul pole. It's still going. Gosh, that's the closest we've been in a while. I'm just trying to concentrate and get my timing down. <gasps> oh, what? 436? Bro, we hit off the Pesky's pole, but it was 436. Okay. So that's stupid. So I'm assuming I need to try to actually get somebody who has less power than Ortiz. Because, like, that still should have been 302. Like, what do you mean? So we finally hit the Pesky's pole. But it's time, I guess, for our next freaking course of action. All right, this time going the complete different approach. And we're using Ozzy Smith, who has 25 power. So hopefully that means he hits the ball a lot shorter. That has potential. That has potential. Please hit Pesky's pole. Please hit it. Oh, just inside. It was still like 80-something foot too far. But Ozzy Smith, I like the potential. I think we're going to try to hit the foul pole one more time. And then after that one, that might hit off the foul pole. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 359. Not quite. I think the course of action here is to try and hit Pesky's pole one more time. And if it's not 302, we just go ahead and move on to the next one. If we can, like, get at least one sub 300 foot home run today i'll be happy to show that it's at least possible this has potential again dudes come on up the pesky's pole oh just a little foul oh no maybe just maybe come on it's curling foul gosh dang it maybe 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 curl curl oh okay this has got to be the one curl 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 350, a little bit too far, RZ. 358, oh, just hit off the Pesky's pole. We're getting so close now. Whoa, whoa, hold the phone, hold the phone. I hit it, but I, I what was it? Hold the freaking phone. I can't see your replay. 323. Uh, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take 323. We're gonna move on. So this is me after the fact. Polo ground was a huge L because half the time you hit the home runs down the foul lines, it doesn't tell you the distance. It's like off the screen because the stadium's so weird. So like instead of me like showing you the struggle of hitting home runs at Polo ground and like trying to get the least distance possible, let's just go ahead and save you guys time and cut to the finale. So at least we did hit one off the pesky's pole we hit one off the foul pole at polo grounds now unfortunately we don't know how far that one went but like it, it doesn't matter at the end of the day because we're gonna hit one 270 at our last freaking cornfield all right to hopefully complete the actual challenge and hit a home run less than 300 feet Billy Hamilton's gonna be the guy. Wait, hold the phone! I thought Billy Hamilton batted lefty. Well, that completely ruined what I want to do. What a freaking stinker we're having. All right, Braden Bishop's gonna be the man. 25 power. That should be good for a 270 footer. Actually, confirm this time to make sure you actually hit righty. I just now realized capacity is 40 freaking eight for cornfield. The stage is set. I have 30 minutes. 
30 minutes to hit the shortest possible home run here at Cornfield. I, I, I mean it as in like, I, I gotta go in 30 minutes. So uh, hopefully we can hit one 270 with Braden Bishop and his like, what, 25 power? Come on, Braden. Braden, please, let's get an absolute banger of like a 270 foot shot. That would make everything perfect. But if we can hit get something under 300, I'll be content. But I still am aiming though for the 270. But just this under 300, and I'll be okay with our results today. Is that out? Please be out. Oh, off the wall. That would have been 270 exactly. I'm so upset. That was 351. But that would have been like 270 exactly. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. That's got to be out, right? 307. 307, we gotta get it underneath 300 foot though. That's by far our shortest home run of the day. Like, I'm still not happy with it though. I gotta like pull it a little bit more. I'm hitting it a little bit too far right center field each freaking time. I wonder if it would help if I turn this off to just like directional or something. Maybe that will help to where I literally just aim that way every freaking time. Maybe that's the move. Maybe that's the freaking move. It's all about trying everything possible here for the scientist. That one's gonna go. Oh, right before the wall it hit. Okay, that one I was about 17 minutes too early. 310, okay, okay, okay. 310, still not under 300 foot. I'm sure you guys will be able to hit a shorter home run using this method. And if you do, make sure to tweet me your picture. That one's gonna be, oh, 414. That actually went a lot farther than what I hoped for. But I want you guys, if you can hit one like 270 on the dot, let me know. That one was almost over the wall. But tweet me your pictures if you can hit one 270 or maybe even shorter. If you find a way to hit one shorter. 282! Let's go, dudes! That one went 282 foot, boys! So let's go! Even if we don't hit one 270 off like the freaking foul pole, we actually hit one 282. This could be, this actually went a little bit further than this 340. But boys, I, I can't believe it. I actually can't freaking believe it. 282, 12 foot shorter. Come on, Braden. Braden Bishop, dudes, what a freaking legend. We just hit a 282 foot home run, bro. That went 301. It's like a freaking little league bomb. Or right, that one, that one has potential. If it hits off the foul pole, oh, uh, it went a little bit too far. 395, yeah, that's way too far. That's a mammoth shot in today's video. If we can somehow find a way to hit one in these last like 15 or so minutes under 282, I'll consider this a massive Dub because when I thought of this video idea in the first place, I didn't think anything shorter than like 300 foot's possible. And we just hit a home run out of the freaking park. 282 foot. That is an absolute freaking banger. So, I mean, 282 I'll be content with, but I want to in these last 15 minutes to try to hit one like a little bit shorter at least than 282. I'll take 279. Come on, Braden. Maybe, maybe that can carry. Oh, those are the ones that hurt the most. Oh, this has potential off the pole. 423. Yeah, dude, that's like a 200-foot uh, 24. What? What? That was perfect. I thought that I thought that was like 270 on the dot. 296. Okay, okay, okay. So I mean like that's not what we're looking for. That's not under 280. Not under 282 at least. But uh, that, that's 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 a good one. That's a good one. I mean, I'll take any home run that's under 300 foot. This makes it funky. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Off the foul pole. Off the foul pole. Uh, 368. Okay, this one has a chance to be funky. 317. Oh, no. We at least hit it off the foul pole. But I guess it projects the distance it was going to go. But can that one get out? Oh, like, that's the one I've been looking for all night. Like, a little liner that should, has no business getting out, but does get out because we have a, a freaking two-foot wall out there at 270 foot. But it'll be still 282. I'm happy with it, but, like, we have about 10 minutes to go. All right, boys, this is the final round we are going to do. We have two minutes left to go to try to hit one under 282. I know it's probably possible, but, like, people are already at my house, and I, I got to edit the video because it's my birthday, you know? Like, give me a freaking break. But, like I said, I still think 282 is not too shabby of a short home run now if you can't beat it take a screen grab maybe tweet it at me and see that you could actually hit a 270 foot shot in this game that it is possible i mean maybe we can we can look up here the last minute in like a half maybe this one 
289! Ah, oh, man, what a tease! What a freaking tease! That was 379. But man, we, we've had some good chances today. It's just a lot harder than what it looks to actually like hit it perfectly and hit the freaking foul pole. But it is my freaking birthday, so maybe we can get a miracle here. This last 45 seconds hit one 270 on the dot. 10 seconds to go, probably two more swings. That one went foul, last swing of the day. That one is way too far, right center. Hits off the wall. I mean, 282-foot shot, dude. I mean, still, at the end of the day, what's this freaking Little League?